Hi, this is Kelly from Petika Kelly and Play Learn Talk, and in today's tutorial, I am going to do something just a little bit different than I usually do. So I am gonna actually just demonstrate how I work in my workstation without really teaching you too, too much. Okay, I'm just gonna let you be a fly on the wall. Now I have an activity that I've just finished spending um, just about two hours creating in Keynote, and it is an election day um, articulation themed resource, and it is also a flow magic uh, deck okay <laughs> so I thought I would just go ahead and work on it um, since I'm gonna be putting it out tonight and you can just see how I work on a more advanced deck and um, you know now would be the time to leave comments if you see me doing something that maybe I don't explain you can just leave a comment and um, you know ask me to explain that aspect okay so I'll make another tutorial for you but I hope you enjoy this and let me know if you like the format and if you are brand new welcome and um, you definitely want to subscribe if you are new to creating and you enjoy daily tutorial videos okay um, all right let's get started so I am ready to import those backgrounds it is kind of a large deck so I'm just gonna import four at a time to keep things really organized and concise um, the first thing I want to do though is actually set in my details it's flow magic I did that ahead of time but I want to show you how to get there in case you didn't know and we're gonna come over to new cards from images and grab the backgrounds, okay? So since this is Flow Magic, we're gonna to have to designate our navigation button. So I'm gonna grab my home page, my navigation page, and then the um, three pages that go with um, just one of the phoneme sets, okay? All right, so here is our main page. The first thing we're gonna do is designate a navigation button that goes over that start, okay? So we're just gonna put that there. And then I am going to link it to my next page. I could hit next, but I know it's going to go to that navigation page. So I'm just going to go ahead and put it for navigation. Now I have pointed out in some other videos that I always make sure my logo links back to the last previous navigation page. And that's what I'm going to do here. So this one, when you click on it, will take you back to the home page. And then the next thing we need to do is just put links over these um, these categories okay so I am not going to completely cover the entire circle because you see how it overlaps a little bit on V that might cause some problems for the user so I'm just going to make them small and kind of cover the majority of the circle okay I'm going to do command C command B which did not work so I'm going to do command C command B again did not work I'm going to hit that little blue tab <laughs> And there we go. Okay, so now I'm going to actually copy both of those. I did that by holding down Command and then um, highlighting both of them. Command C, Command B, move it over, and Command C, Command B. Okay, and then I'm just going to grab these last two. Command C, Command B. All right. Now the only thing I would do on this page is maybe just adjust where the buttons are okay so I'm gonna do that now because I don't want them to look totally sloppy right I don't know about you but I'm totally someone who notices buttons and covers and things like this so I try to make them as neat as possible um, and convenient as possible right so we're trying to make them just as big as possible without overlapping okay so those all look pretty good none of them are overlapping they're all covering it, okay? And we are going to link the first uh, one that we have, which happens to be TH. So we're gonna link it to the very first TH navigation page. And you see up here at the very top, I have my top navigation. I'm gonna go ahead and um, create a navigation link for my logo. And this one is gonna link back to not the home page, but to this main um, you know, choice page, okay? Now I'm going to grab another button. Oops. I'm going to link it to the arrow up here. Okay. And I'm going to link that to previous. I'm going to duplicate it. And I'm going to link that one to next. Okay. And then I want to grab all three of these. Okay. And this might be a little tricky. I don't think this is going to copy all of them because their little blue tab is out of the page. So we can try it. Let's see. I'm going to do Command C, Command V, and it did work. Okay, so sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Okay, so now I'm going to actually take that and bring it over to the next page. 
and to the next page. Now I need to be careful here because this is technically, let's see, oh these are out of order. Okay, this is technically the last page of the TH, so I want to make sure that this actually links back to this navigation page. And then I'm going to come over to this first page. And this one we don't have a problem because it's linked to previous, which is that page. However, um, I'm going to link it anyways to this one because as we add in more cards, this TH might not be next to this page. Okay. Um, and that'll just save us from any headaches. Okay. So now what we need to do on this page, I actually have an item that I want. Um, to have things disappear behind. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and import that image and I'm gonna grab, let's see, grab this little kid here, okay. And that is what our background image looks like. Now we're gonna make it draggable, okay. And I'm gonna move it up just a little bit because I don't want this blue overlapping on this area, okay. And let's see. Oh, I want to have, okay, so the idea of this activity is that students are going to be submitting their votes, okay, so make sure the votes get in, put each vote in a box. So I'm giving them a choice of a blue box, red box, doesn't matter, okay. Um, I like giving choices, um, you know, in activities because it really increases, you know, the students' participation. Um, but I want to have little envelopes here or little voting ballots that um, the kids can put in, okay. So we're going to grab those now. Okay, so I have custom made this and I'm just going to size it down so it actually covers that the target word and yeah, okay. All right, so that looks good. Um, this also needs to be draggable. Okay, and it's covered it up. Okay, so I'm going to make it draggable now and then I'm going to duplicate it and put it right below. Okay, um, if we zoom in the alignment looks good. Looks like it's covering over that initial a little bit. So I'm just going to tap them over. Okay. Um, now I'm going to do Command C, Command V. Move them over. And grab all four Command C, Command V. Okay, and then I'm going to let go of two of them, Command C, Command V, and now I've just duplicated the last two. Okay, so those look good. Um, now I want to click on this draggable item again, and I just want to um, make sure it moves to the very front. Okay, so it's giving me a little error message. Let me click out of this. Okay, um, all right, let's go preview it. Okay, so we want to see if this takes us back. And this takes us back, it does, okay? So it says, get those votes in election day game to target articulation. Start takes us to this page. We have our navigation button to take us to TH. Make sure the votes get in. Okay, so we're going to see if they go behind, and they do, okay? So the other thing that we need to add, we need to add two other things to this page is I want to add a little highlighting box, okay? So actually, I'll come back over here. So when I reveal the word, I want to have a little um, highlighted box that the student or the user can move over to highlight the position of the target sound, okay? So we're going to make that right now. Um, we're also going to make an area for them to type their own sentence, okay? This is not something required for the page, but it's like an optional thing um, to support you know, sessions with students who are at that sentence level. Okay, so we're going to drag it out here. And it's not actually coming out. Okay, so I think I have too many things on the page. Okay, so I'm going to add an extra page here. And I'm going to put my um, little box on this page. Okay, so we want to make it transparent. Okay, so let's make it a red color. And we're going to make it a little bit transparent. So we're going to do that right there, okay? And we want it to be draggable, okay? I'm going to Command C, delete it, and come over to this page and see if it posts. It does, okay. So we're going to put it right here, okay, so that it can be used as a draggable piece. And then I'm going to come back over to this page and grab my fill in the blank and try to position it to where it would go. Okay, so I think it's going to go like that. Command C, get rid of it, 
and I'll bring it over here. Okay. I'm just using my keyboard to tab up. Okay, let's go check this page out. Okay, so here we have our envelopes can go in. Okay, we want to highlight the target sound. We can do that. Okay, it's draggable. And let's see, we can type in. So thorn, um, I pricked my finger on a thorn yesterday and it hurt. Okay, I'm just trying to make it a little bit longer. So we have actually plenty of room to make this a little bit larger. And we're gonna double click on this. Hmm, why is it not letting me do it? I don't know why it's not letting me do it. I know that recently I've been hearing um, that there's been like some trouble with um, coding stuff, so maybe that's what's going on. But let's go ahead and make it larger. Let's make it 16. Okay. And um, let's just test that out. Okay, let's try it. Okay, so I want to be able to have like a 7 to 10 word sentence fit on here. So, um, oops, yesterday, that's much bigger. Okay, yesterday I pricked my finger on a thorn and it hurt. Okay, that looks good. All right, so that's what we'll keep. And that page is essentially done, okay? And then um, we have nine more sections to do like that. So this is our next page. So on this page, it targets initial, the initial phoneme. This is gonna target the medial phoneme. And here, we want to give each person a sticker to show that they voted, okay? So once again, we're gonna have something covering up these words and then we're going to be putting it on something else. So last time it was disappearing, this time it's going on. So we're gonna go ahead and grab our sticker, I voted sticker, and we're gonna make it draggable, and then we're gonna size it down so that it actually fits on their shirt, okay? And then we're just gonna put it on top of the word. So it's not actually really covering up the word at all. Um, oops, oh no, you guys, let's see. Uh-uh-uh. <laughs> like, how do I get back? Okay, so we're going to do that, okay? Grab both of them, Command C, Command V, bring them down, grab all four of them. Okay, and then I'm going to grab those last two, okay? And then I just need to get that text box from the other page and also this highlighting box, so Command C, and then I'm gonna come over here, Command V. And I'm just gonna go ahead and go to this page and do the same thing, okay? Now on this page, we are going to, um, we are going to be giving them donuts. So it says give each, person, give each person a donut before they go home, so we're gonna grab the donuts, and we're gonna make it draggable. And we'll do like that. Um, okay, so now we just need to duplicate those. All right, so that first section is done. Okay, so I'm just gonna test it out. I'm gonna get rid of this little in-between page. Okay, so we have our cover page, the link works, and this one is the one that we're on right now. Okay, so these all can go inside. I kind of wanna make these have a cheering noise when they go in, but I don't know if um, I would have enough uh, you know, like storage for it, I guess. I keep getting these notifications of like not having enough space. And um, so I don't know, I think I'll leave the sound off since I have all these other things in. Um, okay, that works. We can type, we already saw that. This is gonna go there. Um, let's double check this one, it works. Okay. And the I voted sticker. 
these all work. Okay, this is gonna work there. And then our next one, we're gonna give them donuts. <laughs> okay, and this will take us back to that choice page. Okay, so we are ready to go and import the other pages, okay? So how I do that is I come to this navigation page and when I add my new cards from images, it's gonna be added right after that. So I'm going to upload and I want, let's see, we did the TH. So I'm gonna do L. And I might even grab the next two. Sometimes when I do big decks, if I've imported all of them, it gets really confusing. So I just try to keep it simple. Okay, so we're gonna do L. And let's see, this one's hard to see. Oops, let's see. Okay, good, that's in the correct order. So now what we can do is we link our L. Okay, we're gonna link it to um, the first L page, okay? And now we're gonna come over and actually um, grab all of this, and we're going to copy it over, okay? Okay, and let's see if it works. Command C. It does work, okay, so. That's wonderful. Um, okay, so when I first started, I did not know how to do that, and I literally would spend like 10, 12 hours <laughs> making resources like this. So um, really being able to copy everything, um, you know, systematically, it will save you, it'll shave off four or five hours of your creation time. So um, I hope that is a useful tip for, for somebody. <laughs> okay, so now we need to go over to our next one, and we're going to grab all of this. And in just a second, I'm actually gonna show you an even easier thing. I just wanted to show you this first so you understand what I'm doing. Okay, so this is from the sticker page, okay? And I'm making sure I'm on the sticker page, command V. Okay, everything should be the same. And on this final page, I need to remember to be careful for that to link back. Okay, so I'm gonna go grab that one. And, whoops. Um, okay, so that's annoying. So sometimes when you click off of it, not sometimes, all the time when you click off of it, um, it ends up making you redo all of it. So just have to be careful on where you click. Okay, Command C, and I'm going to go to that third page. So I have Donut, Donut. All right, and I'm just going to make sure that that is linked back. And actually, it should be linked to the exact page that we need, okay? And we can double check it here, so it ends in QA. And that is actually the name of this card. So we don't even have to do it again, but I'm just gonna show it to you. Um, okay, so that should work just fine, okay? All right, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna link all of them. I hope this does not confuse you, but I think it's actually easier, or it's, it's more time-saving, okay? So we're gonna import all of them. So let's go get the J that we have. So we have, uh, let's see. Sometimes they, they put them in the wrong order when they import. Okay, so J and this one, I guess. Okay, so we want sticker. Okay, so that's in the correct order. Okay, um, so now I'm going to go and, and get the rest of them. Okay, so let's go to upload. I think we left off on 11 was J. Yeah, okay. All right, so now we can import the rest of these. I'm still going to do it one, like one set at a time though, just so that they're in order. Okay. Okay. So let's do that. Make sure that they're in order. Okay. Those are out of order because I know sticker comes first. Okay. I also have it labeled down here. Okay. I'm going to come back to my navigation page, then select new cards from images, then upload. And then I want to grab 15, 16, 17. I'm going to double check. That's the first. Video final. Okay, I'm going to come back to this page and then select new cards from images.
Okay, so here we have initial, medial, final. Come back to the navigation, new card from images. Okay, we have about four more sets to import. Okay, so this is our last one. All right, so we have initial, medial, final. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and double check all of these. Even though I did it as I was doing it, sometimes you're still surprised. Okay, so initial, medial, final, and initial, medial, final, initial, medial, final, initial, medial, final, initial, medial, final, initial, medial, final. Initial, medial, final. I feel like I'm doing articulation. <laughs> okay. Um, initial, medial, final, and that's it. Okay. So now what we're going to do is we're going to systematically go through everything to make sure everything gets done. So what I mean by that is that before we leave this page, we're going to make sure all of them are linked. Okay. So I'm going to do this. I'm going to link to F. So I'm going to go look for F. Thankfully, I've done some nice big letters over here on each slide so that I can quickly find it. So I'd recommend you doing that as well. So here's the first page of F, okay? Now I'm gonna link V. And here's the first one of V. Now I'm gonna link S. I think that was actually up higher. Yep, there it is. Okay, so here's S. We're gonna link Z now. And Z is right here. Um, okay, so now we're going to link J. And we're going to link the SH sound. I'm curious what sounds your students are working on this year. I have a ton of J students, actually. Um, for the past two years, it's been really unusual to work on. Um, okay, so CH, it's right here, okay. TH is linked, L is linked, and we need to link R. Okay, so here is our first R page. Okay, so now before we move on to anything else, we're going to go test this out and just make sure it works. So we have F, and this is not linked, so we're not going to be able to get back anywhere. Um, but this would take us back. Oh, nope, everything's not linked. Okay, so that's what we need to do. Okay, so we need to go ahead and add those links before we test it out. Okay, so we're going to go all the way to the bottom to where that TH was, and we're going to grab these links. And hopefully that copies. Um, let's see, we'll put them on here right now. Yeah, it did copy. That's wonderful. Okay. Um, so, yeah, that works. Okay. So we're going to link this to this page, this one. It's going to link to next. Okay, so now I want to go to all the first pages, and I want to link those on there so we can test it out. Okay.
Okay, and TH is already done. Um, okay, so now we should be able to test it out. So we're going to do a start. We can go to F, and we're on the correct page. If we hit this back button, I'm just going to take us back. Is that not linked? Huh, okay, guys. All right, I said you're going to be a fly on my shoulder, so <laughs> this one is not linked. Why is it not linked? Hmm, it is linked, but it didn't take me anywhere. Let's see. I don't know if I just did something different. I guess I'll have to watch the video. Um, okay, so F. We're on the F page. Okay, this one takes us back. No, it doesn't take us back. What is going on? Okay. Oh, we're on the Z page. Okay, wait a second. Okay. So if I click on F, it takes me to F. Okay. So that means that F is somehow not linked. Let's see. Did I skip it? Oh, no, just all of them. <laughs> okay, I didn't transfer it to all of them. Okay. So let's grab that one. Command C. And we'll just have to go back through command V. Okay. I'm just double checking that that goes, that's linked correctly. And it is. Okay. So let's make sure they're all there. And you know, the link is there because it's highlighted. Okay. I don't know why it didn't copy over. It should have copied over. But like I said earlier, it might have been because the little blue tab, like somehow I didn't reach it. But still, it's kind of weird that it didn't didn't do it. Okay, Command V and Command V. See that one's there, huh? Okay, I don't I don't know what happened, you guys. Um, okay, so it always pays to double check. All right, now let's go try it. Preview. So F, we're on the F page. Okay, this is going to take us back, okay, V, we're on V, S, C, J, S, H, C, H, T, H, L, okay, and R, okay. Um, so we're going to go back, and now what we need to do is put the link here, but we're going to go and grab the one that we already did, All right? So we're going to go down to the bottom. This is why I'm doing it, is to show you how to save time. Okay, so we're going to grab all these links, okay? And I'm going to very carefully click on all of them so I don't have to redo it over and over. Let's see if I can actually do that. Okay, command C. Okay, so everything should be coded correctly. Okay, so now I'm gonna go to all the middle pages. Okay, so this is a middle page. Okay, I'm just gonna double check the links before I go ahead and copy these all. Okay. Okay, so the middle one is linked to previous, right? It's not linked to the navigation page. So I'll just point that out. Um, it is taking us back because I want them to be able to go back if they need to. Okay, everything else looks good. Okay, we want the sticker, those are stickers, okay. So everything is fine here. So now we are safe to go on to all the, all the following medial pages. So I'm just gonna do Command V. Command V again. Okay, L is already done, TH is already done. Okay, great, so now we're at the bottom. So now we can actually um, come back to this first page because I didn't, I didn't even do that. Okay, so now we're gonna grab just the, uh, let's see, or did I do that? 
No, I didn't. Okay. Um, all right. So I'm going to grab just the, the votes. Okay. And actually, I think I need these as well. Oops. Oh, no. Okay. Command C. Okay. So now I can go to all the first pages. Like on J, this is the first initial page and copy everything. Okay. That's all we need there. Okay. So I'm going to come back to CH. Guys, I know this is really tedious, but it gives you peace of mind later when you do it systematically, for me at least, right? Because I, I know by the end of this that I've checked it enough that really everything is working properly, okay? And I see some of you guys panic about that. So I think just having a system in place for yourself is going to make you feel a lot better when you're creating these. Um, so if my system works for you, wonderful. Okay, so we're already back to the top. Okay, so now we're ready to go to our final pages. And we're going to go down to the bottom because we know this one is already done correctly. Okay, and we want to grab the links from up top because this link should go to previous. This should go back to the navigation page. This should also go back to the navigation page. So we're going to grab all of these. And now we're going to be grabbing the donuts. Okay, and everything on the page. So Command C, so now I get to go to all the last pages. This one is already done. I'm still gonna click on it and make sure. Um, okay, J, so we need to add this on here. And once again, I'm just gonna be paranoid and double check, even though I just copied it, right? But I just wanna make sure. Sometimes I do this when I'm tired, actually all the time. I'm always up working really late. Um, so I just get in the habit of double checking it. Um, I'm curious to know when you guys find time to work on things. So are you like a weekend worker? Do you work in the evenings? Let me know in the comments below. I'd love to know what you guys are doing. Okay, so I am on the CH page final. Okay, that's good. And SH final. We actually don't have too much longer, which is great. Okay, V final. And... F final. And like I said earlier, I really recommend you having like something for you to visually reference that's large so you can um, easily, you know, do these kind of things, kinds of things. Okay, and that is it. So now all we need to add is our top cover photos. Okay, so I'm just gonna kind of put these randomly in here. I have four kids total. Um, so I'm gonna grab, I think I had the girl first. Um, actually, it doesn't matter. I'm just gonna grab them randomly. Okay, so I'm gonna put them in like this. I'm gonna remember to make it draggable and this to not overlap too much. So like right now it's overlapping too much. I'm gonna size it down. Okay, that should be fine. Let's just double check to see. I'm gonna make it draggable right now. So let's just double check to see like if it overlaps because if it overlaps, what's gonna happen because this is draggable too is someone's gonna move it by accident, okay? And we don't want that to happen. Um, but we do want this to go behind and those work. Okay, all right. So I'm still gonna make it a little smaller just to play it safe, okay? So I'm gonna make it a little bit smaller like that. Okay, and then I'm going to actually copy this because now this is the size that I want. Okay, so I'm going to come to this one and put him there. I'm going to change him out to a different child. So let's just do, um, now we'll do this little girl. Okay, this is draggable, still works. Okay, we're going to do the same thing here. We're going to change him out with the little boy, the other little boy. And this one will be the other little girl. I love this clip art. I think it's so cute. Okay. So we'll put him in again. So we'll just do a little pattern. It's not going to be completely even because we have 10 total. Um, but that's okay.
Okay, we're gonna change him. Actually, we're gonna delete him because he's not the same size that we have been doing. So that's the same size. And let's finish with the little girl because she was on the cover. Um, okay, guys, I think this is it. I think we're done with this. So all I would have um, left to do is I need to make my cover. Okay, so I'd make my cover in Keynote. It's gonna be a square image. I'm gonna title it. I'm going to select the grades, put in my keywords, price it. Um, I'm not gonna randomize the cards at all. Um, subject, I'm gonna select my subjects and my description, acknowledgements, and let's see. And then if I wanted to list it on TPT, I could, but I have to publish it first, and then after that, it will allow me to have a little code, okay? And if you guys wanna do that, definitely um, check out the Frequently Asked Questions page, okay? So that's it. Okay, so I'm gonna go make my cover. I'm gonna end this video. It's already pretty long if you made it all the way to the end. Thank you so much. Please leave a comment and let me know what you thought of this style of tutorial, if you enjoyed being a little fly on the wall, um, and if you'd like to see more in the future like this. Um, I am also going to link this, um, this actual game in the description below, probably in a comment too, um, in case this is something you would wanna use with your older elementary age students. Um, if you use it, please let me know how it goes. Um, I, I really love hearing people's feedback on how games work with their students, okay? So I am signing off. I will see you guys another day tomorrow, and um, please give this video a like and share it with anybody who would um, you know, also benefit from it. All right, bye.